Yo, what is going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, Schroeder Skywalker, and myself, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker, coming to you guys with another MLB main slate video. If you guys could be so kind, if you're new or if you're returning and you forgot, please hit that subscribe button, smash that bell icon, smash that like button, leave us a comment down below. So Schroeder and I would love to hear from you guys. And if you're returning, welcome back. Hopefully you guys had a great day. It's a very high scoring slate. Very high scoring. My God, and how about the Angels in the bottom of the ninth, huh? Or top of the ninth. Tied it up. Crazy day, man, with the weather and with all these rain delays. And you got to stay on top of that weather, guys. I faded all the weather games. And, yeah, Houston, Houston kind of got me in the old prison pocket today. But Toronto did all right. But, I mean, man, it was the, the Yankees, the Angels. Um... Then those earlier slates, Jesus, very high scoring, man. Um, so, yeah, let's get into today's slate. We got a seven-gamer, but it could easily turn into like a three-gamer. There's so much weather um, concerns. We have a course field slate. So, first of all, you guys already know the drill. Let's see how the DFS club did. Let's look at the Hall of Fame, the DFS club Hall of Fame, guys. I know we did great in NBA tonight. Um Actually, look at Ty Bubs. My man, Ty Bubs, man. Esports won $3,250. That's what's up, my man. $3,250. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. The whole family's reacting. Chris D., my man, dude. Got a 140. Um, was this? Yeah, this was earlier. Nice, dude. Triple OG showing he won $4,500. One of our sharks. He makes. He's been making the the videos every night now. Chris D, you're welcome, my man. So he Marcus Morris at captain was phenomenal. Paul George, man. Woo, that's too bad. The Suns are going to the finals, and I don't mind it because nobody saw it coming. Nobody saw it coming. Chris Paul had a phenomenal game, but a take almost a takedown, man. That close. DJ twenty four did get a takedown. With Chris Paul at captain, guys, 283, won $443.27. Nice job, DJ. And then Big Ox, also with a takedown, won $5,410. I need to start adding this up, you guys, how much combined total of the club did win tonight. So very nice, you guys. Uh, Roscoe Pico Train, takedown. Looks like a two-game slate, $300. Um, the bad guy takedown $101. You guys are amazing. Willie with a takedown and the Wolverine. How'd you do buddy? The takedown $1,300 guys. Unfreaking believable. What a night. NBA was just very, very kind to us guys. What can I say? <laughs> um, so yeah, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you're if you're thinking about it, if you're sitting on the sidelines going, dang it, guys, should I join the DFS club? You're asking your wives, your husbands. I think it might be time to pull the trigger, guys. All you got to do is go to www.dfsclub.com. I'll bring it up right here. Feast your eyes, guys. You got two providers on one, DFS Space and myself. You get every single sport, not just MLB. You get NBA, NFL, PGA, NHL. We got tennis going right now. Tennis is hot. Esports, NASCAR. We're still rolling off that takedown over the weekend. Soccer, UFC, WNBA, college sports. There is no UFC card this week. So click join now. Then click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then cheapest in the industry, guys. You see how much money we're winning. This is just ridiculous. $14.99 a month, the six-month, the year plan, and we have the three-day passes, guys. You do everything. Prize picks. I'm doing the one-hour-before-lock members-only podcast for MLB, and Space has the members-only podcast covered for NBA. So it's a team effort in here, guys. So you get the Discord. You get everything. The lineups. Yes, you get the lineups. DFSclub.com, guys. All right. So let's bring up the weather. And let's take a peek at what we're looking at tomorrow for the main. Now, there's an early slate, too, but 
Um, let's pull up the main here and let's see what we're looking at. So, first off, we have the Dodgers at Washington. Rain, 75 degrees. So, we got to keep our eyes on this one. It's too bad, too, because Washington's been so hot lately. It's just like, I want to stack them. Patrick Corbin versus Tony Gosselin. Um, I mean, yeah, if it goes, it goes. If it goes, I do like the Washington Nationals. I think that run total is a little low. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Also, Pittsburgh and Milwaukee rain. Man, they got to start putting domes on these stadiums, man. This is ridiculous. Milwaukee scored like 14 or something runs today. Going up against Pittsburgh, 3.1, who don't score no runs. I mean, Milwaukee might be starting to heat up, but we might not know. Wind's blowing out to the center field at five miles an hour. Next up, we got the Houston Astros versus the Cleveland Indians. This one should be a go. Partly cloudy, 71 degrees. But you never know, man, this time of year. Storms just pop up out of nowhere. Not here in California. It's pretty predictable. But everywhere else, you got 13-mile-an-hour winds, though, blowing in from outfield, guys. So Houston, five runs. Cleveland, 3.6. I actually don't mind Framber Valdez is 9.8K. We'll get into that. I think it's a really expensive, too expensive, but because Cleveland's been hot lately. Um, San Diego and Cincinnati, this would be a good game to target here. Mostly cloudy. The night before, it should be good to go. 76 degrees. San Diego, 4.6. Cincinnati, 4.6. You got Carl Weathers, who played Apollo Creed for San Diego, going up against Louis Castillo, guys. And then we got two more games here that have – Rain. Mets and Atlanta. Rain. This is the one with Jacob DeGrom in it. Jacob DeGrom is 11.5 going up against an Atlanta team that just scored a freaking field goal tonight and runs. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. And it's after lock. So, if you spend 11.5 on DeGrom and this game doesn't play, yikes. I'm going to keep in touch with my homies out in Atlanta. And they're going to give me weather updates, so I'll be on top of it. And then we got a course field game, but rain is in the forecast. 6.2 for St. Louis, 5.5 for, for uh, Colorado. Man, we'll see what happens. Because this, I mean, you can stack the Cardinals here for very cheap. Then we got the late night hammer. This will be in Arizona. Arizona four point run. I think they go over that, guys. Now, Johnny Cuerto is pitching, and he's very cheap. Against San Francisco is projected to get five runs, but I don't know, man. I have a strange feeling Arizona's going to go off tomorrow night. I, that's just a spidey sense feeling to me. I have no, like, stats to back that up. For me, it's just a gut feeling, guys. So, yeah, that's a look. Just a quick rundown of the implied totals and the weather, guys. So, y'all know what's up next. We're going to go to – let me close this out. All right, draft dashboard, guys. Let me bring it up here. The best optimizer on the planet. And if you want to try it out, it's only a dollar for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have draft dashboard, guys, where you get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, the player pools, the player trends. Who's trending up? Who's getting in the old prison pocket? The sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the MLB cheat sheet. Because if you can't win cheat, it's got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value. This is draft dashboard. And one last thing, if you're new to this channel, you're in for a treat because at the end of the video, we do a segment called Schroeder's Picks. And that's right. Schroeder, the kitty cat you saw in the very beginning, he does his three home run calls. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right. So let's go to position optimizer and we're going to start off at pitcher. So we got some good pitchers on the slate. You got Jacob DeGrom, 11.5K. Is he going to pay that off? I don't think so. There's two things going against him. One, the weather. Two, three things, actually. The weather, the team, Atlanta's hot, as you guys saw, and the price tag. Let's take a look here. 17, 26, 23. So those 30, that 30, 37 and 39, that was before the new rule took effect, where they're checking pitchers for sticky stuff. After the rule took effect, 23, 26, 17, which are still fine, but... 11-5? I don't know, guys. That might be a fade for me. Um, same with Frambeer Valdez. I mean, against Cleveland, 9.8K for what? 16, 21, 17, 30, and 34. Another one. 
since they've cramped, since they've stopped that sticky stuff, he's been suffering, guys. So I don't know about these guys. I know you're on Skywalker. You're crazy. Degrom's the best pitcher in the league. He's good, but is he eleven five good? Are you going to pay eleven five for a seventeen? Are you going to pay eleven five for a hell even a twenty three? No, no, you're not. Um, Corbin Burns, price just right, nine point two k. Again, just keep your eye on the weather in these games, guys. He has a dream matchup against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh don't score no runs. Corbin Burns got a 23 his last game. I do like that. He had a little rough patch there, 9-14. But before that, he had a 43. So, But Pittsburgh don't scare the, nobody. So, yeah, guys, get him in there. If you want to take a shot at Coors Field with Adam Wainwright at 8-4, you're getting a kind of a discount here. Um, Colorado's okay at home. They're just really – it's like Coors Field ain't even a thing this year. It's kind of weird right now. But 29 and a 29 in his last two appearances against Colorado, he has dominated them. So 27 and 36. So the new rules are actually helping him for some reason. But Adam Wainwright might be a sneaky play because a lot of people are going to see Coors Field and they're going to be like, oh, hell no. Same with Ian Anderson, man. 7.1K is way too cheap against the Mets. Yeah, they got two runs today in the first inning, and then I think that was it. So... It is what it is, man. Last time against him, he got 24, 22, 24. So you're going to pay 11.5 for Jacob DeGrom, or you're going to pay 7.1 for Ian Anderson for the same score? You don't got to, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. Ian Anderson's definitely in play at 7-1. I like this punt play of Merrill Kelly. Now, I know it is against the Giants, but he's been pitching great as of late. A couple of 24s in his last two. Um... The Giants don't really have a lot of power. What the Giants will do is base hit you to the death. Base hit, double, base hit, you know. They score a lot of runs. They're a great team. They have a great record. Um, the Dome, I'm assuming, would be close. It's Arizona, right? If the Dome is open, if we get word that the Dome is going to be open, we're going to stack the hell out of this game, guys. It'll be better than Coors Field. I think it's supposed to be 100 degrees, which is a cool day in Arizona. But, yeah, Merrill Kelly, though, if the, if the roof's closed, I don't mind it as a pump play against San Francisco. He's been looking really good lately. On the opposite side, you got Johnny Cuarto, 7.3K. Another one that's been looking pretty good lately, but he does have a scary floor. And I saw, and I was browsing through the player pool, I saw a lot of Arizona guys that have bared, fared very well against him. So 7.3 is not a bad price. It's just the floor is really scary. He has a 1 and a 7 in his last five. So just keep that in mind. And that's it. Louis Castillo against San Diego at 9K. No thanks. Patrick Corbin's going up against the Dodgers. No thanks. Patrick Corbin's been looking great, but it is the Dodgers, guys. And then Will Crow. No relation to Sam Crow. <laughs> oh, my God. Going up against the Brewers. So, 5-6. I mean, maybe. Last time against Milwaukee, he did get 22 fantasy points. If Will Crow gets 22 fantasy points, guys, at 5-6... You're sitting, you're sitting really pretty, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he outscores DeGrom the way uh, pitching's been looking <laughs> lately. Let's go to catcher, guys. I know. Talking out of my ass. Um, Buster Posey, 4.7K. Don't mind it. He does pretty good against Merrill Kelly lifetime in 14 plate appearances. A home run, so don't mind that. Um, James McCann, 3.8K. He's done good against Ian Anderson, 3 for 5, with a homer. So I don't mind that. Normally he's better against lefties, though. Let's go to first base. Pete Alonzo got a home run in that first inning, and I think that was it. <laughs> that was all she wrote. CJ Crone, I don't mind for 4.8K. I don't like the price tag, though. He's a little priced up here. Um, it's just against Wainwright. He's two for three with two doubles, and he does crush righties. But, yeah, man, that price tag's a little rough. But if you're going to stack this course field game, I think with that record, that two for three against Wainwright, I know it's only three plate appearances, but I'll take what I can get. And then Paul Goldschmidt, he's 4.5K. That's pretty cheap for a guy that you know has power in his bat. 294 lifetime against Centazella guys at 17 plate appearances. He does have one home run. Um, and if this game plays here, San Diego, Cincinnati, I don't mind stacking it, guys. You got Eric Hosmer at 4.3K. Against Castillo, guys, he's 8 for 13. That's unbelievably good. Seven singles, a home run. 
Eric Hosmer, if this game goes, guys, get him in there. All right, let's go to second base. Um, let's see. Jonathan Indy at 4-5 against Carl Weathers, who's a lefty. I don't mind it. Um, Jose Altuve. I just have a sneaking suspicion that Houston's going to go on a cold streak now. But he is on play. He's going up against a righty. 5.4K. Play at your own risk. Max Muncy's been crushing the crap out of the ball lately, man. And he's going up against a lefty, so I don't mind it. Patrick Corbin, 5.3K. He's in play. Um, Eduardo Escobar is 5K now. Where the hell did that come from? I don't want no part of that. No, 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 no. He hasn't done shit in four games. Um, let's see. Like Rojas, he's done good against Cuerdo. He's batting 400. Um, so, yeah, that's it for second base. Let's go to third base. So, Nolan Ariano, you guys believe in revenge narratives and baseball? He's going back home to Colorado, guys. 5.5K. I actually really do like this play if – that's how it's going to go down. If they're going to play, he's going to feel right at home there at Coors Field. So get him in there, guys. Uh, Justin Turner at 5.3. He's fared, he's fared really well against Patrick Corbin and 38 at bats. That's a lot of exposure. 342 average, seven singles, four doubles, two home runs. Justin Turner does not look bad at 5.3K. And let's see. Yeah, nothing else really. Urias coming off a 44 fantasy point game. My God. All right, let's go to shortstop because we won't stop and we can't stop. We got Tatis against a righty. Plug and go, guys. Against Castillo is 0 for 3, but give me Tatis at 6K, man. Double digit fantasy points. Five plus games now. Just get him in there. Probably even got to tell you that. That's if the game plays again. San Diego, Cincinnati, I hope so. I hope all these games play. Trey Turner has been on fire. This whole Washington team has been on fire. He's 5.3K. He stole second and third today. So, yeah, he's the fastest. He A lot of people don't know this about Trey Turner, but he is the fastest player in the MLB. Watch YouTube videos on how fast this guy can run. Get him in there, guys. And those are the ones I really like. So let's go to outfield. So Kyle Schwarber, I'm going to keep freaking playing this guy. He didn't get a home run today, but you can't get one every day. It was starting to look like he could, but he's going up against Goslin, who's a righty. He crushes righties, guys. 5.5K, I will pay it. Give me Kyle Schwarber. Absolutely. freaking lutely Nick Castellanos against Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed. Lefty, righty. It really doesn't matter with him, but he's 4'9". Anytime Castellanos is under 5K, give me him. I'll put him in my lineups every single time, guys. Trent Grisham had a nice grand slam tonight. Um, he'll be going up against Castillo. 0 for 6, though. 4 4, though, is not bad. 4 4 is not bad. I guess he makes the list. Lamont Wade, San Francisco. 1 for 2 against Merrill Kelly. 4 1. I guess that's not bad for a leadoff hitter. And then Tyler O'Neill, man. I like this play, too, at 4K. I really hope this game plays. He's 3 for 4 against San Isela, guys, with a single, a double, and a home run. And Tyler O'Neill crushes righties, guys. I would imagine he would be popular only 4K. Very cheap to stack this game. So if it's classic course field and both teams score like 10 plus runs, you're sitting really good. So get him in there, guys, at only 4K. It's very cheap. Michael Brantley, he's fine. Just hasn't been doing shit. He goes up against Mejia, who's a righty. He does better against righties, guys. He's due, man. This kid is due. Next up, Kyle Tucker's only 3-7. Don't mind it. Don't mind Kyle Tucker against right-handed pitching, where his OPS is 894, guys. Uh, Juan Soto, next up at 5.7K. He's on a little two-game heater. Um, going up versus Gosselin, who's a righty. Juan Soto crushes righties, guys, so get him in there. Uh, Dylan Carlson, another cheap St. Louis play. He's only 3.8K. He has a lot of power in his bat, too. Lefty-righty matchup doesn't matter with him. He only bats first or second, so get him in there. And then, man, look at these. See, two for two against Cuerto, man. Look at Pavi and Smith here. 3.1K. I mean, these, these Arizona guys have fared pretty well against them. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Arizona goes off. I'm just going to say that. Next up, Miles Strauss, 3K. Um, against righties, I do like him. Uh, let's see. Charlie Blackman, 5.4K. Has a really good history against Wainwright in 18 at-bats, guys. Eight for 18. Three singles, three doubles, a triple, and a home run. Charlie Blackman at 5-4. Get him in there. Also, Will Myers for San Diego. He's only 3.4K, guys. Against Castillo in 13 plate appearances, 5 for 13, three singles, one triple, one home run. I do like that. Get yourself some Will Myers. And it's time for your favorite part of the video and mine. It's time for none other than Schroeder's picks. So Schroeder's going to give us his one home run, his second home run call, and then his third call is going to be who's going to get us Dos, Dos Tatises. All right, Schroeder. It's your time, buddy. You're the star. Uh, you're the star of the show. Get comfortable, okay? You ready? All right. He says, hell yeah, I've been born ready. I was born ready. All right, Schroeder. So looking at the player pool, who do you got for your first home run pick? Who do you got? Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I like that pick. You know, that's okay. All right, Schroeder. Schroeder's first home run call is kind of an easy one. He says Kyle Schwarber, but I, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, Schroeder. Who's your second home run pick? Who do you got to get you another home run? Who do you? Oh, okay. You already know? Ah, I knew you'd come. Yeah, Schroeder's looking at me like I'm crazy. So Schroeder's second home run call is none other than Nolan Ariano. Going back to course Field. All right, Schroeder. So this is where we really need you, buddy. I know you want your salmon treats, but we got to do one more pick. And this is the big one, Schroeder. Who's going to get us two home runs, two, and totally break the slate, Schroeder? Who do you got for your two home run call? Who do you got? Okay. Oh, all right. Well, you guys heard that one, right? Schroeder's two home run, his double dong pick. There's none other. All right, buddy. You earned your salmon tonight, buddy. There's none, <laughs> none other than Fernando Tatis, guys. So that's going to do it for the segment known as Schroeder's Picks. And that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want to join the club, you want the lineups, the ownership, the cheat sheets, every single sport, get my tennis lineups tonight. DFSclub.com. Real easy to sign up, guys. And draft dashboard's only $1 for 30 days. I'll have the NBA video coming up right after this. So don't you dare be sour. All right, guys. All right, so let's get them out. We got to say our prayer. We're almost done. All right, guys. So God bless you. God bless your families. God bless the pets, right? The pets? That's right, he says. All right, so are you ready? Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. We'll see you at the very top. And Schroeder and I are out. Thank you guys so much. We love you. Take care.